Hello and welcome to Build Series Live from London. We've got two very special guests today. Yep. <laughs> Sitting directly behind Big Freddy Bear and Olivia. No, it is. It's Fred and Olivia from Made in Chelsea. Make some noise. Now, remember, if you want to get any questions into us, you can at Build Series London on Twitter or just leave questions on Facebook in the comments below. Um, guys... How are you both? You're both looking very serious in You're your both in mourning, matching apparently. all black You're going to a outfits. funeral after this. Yeah. It's kind of quite a casual funeral, but still. Um, this, is, this is good. I mean, how, how are you both, though, generally? Ladies first. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Well, Brilliant. All the better for being here. Everyone looks so nice here. I yes. Like you. I like have a lovely audience. Great. And at home as well. Lovely, yeah. lovely audience at home. Um, so, guys, you're taking a little, uh, little break from your, your hectic shooting schedule before the show starts. Let's talk about Croatia first. Fred I think you there. should I think you well, should answer exactly, that. But, but you said I wasn't there. Now yeah. now Croatia was supposed to be fun, you know, heaven with jets. Boozing, jet skis, boozing all the good times. I just rowed and yeah. yeah. yeah but that's it, what you do. You love that. Oh, She's so good at it as well. <laughs> shut up. Well it, it it wasn't quite the sort of heaven that you had perhaps I think it hoped. started off well and then it just yeah went to shit really I think. Mm. As yeah. These oh. things can these, these things, things can, happen. Can do exactly. Yeah. I mean, one of the kind of sort of <laughs> highlight moments, standout moments for the for the viewers probably mm. was um, quite a difficult moment for you. Yeah. You end. know what I'm going to say when I broke up with Digby. When you broke up with Digby, yeah, yeah. Um, which you yourself described as quite savage. It was. It was quite a savage moment. Can I just say, Fred is the worst person. I texted him telling him I'd broken up with him, and he goes, oh, and that was it. And I was like, oh. right? That's nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you want, like, a sort of, oh, I'm so sorry, Liv. Oh, that's not me. Like, I didn't really think that they were sort of too suited, to, to be honest. Do you not? Mm. Well, now you tell No, me. because I think, <laughs> I think I, if I, personally, I think it was the type of relationship where you really wanted it to work, because you thought, yeah, yeah. he's very sort of, he's super relaxed, you know, mm. he's... Chilled um, guy. Exactly, he's chilled, he's probably what I need, but I don't think that that was what you needed. So Do I th- you think, think you, you were better to be suited there. to me than him? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I, I think it's still very much a sort of a missing blank of who eventually is going to be the right person to tame this beast. Wow. Mm. But you're still very young. And that was one of I the know. things that... So at this stage in life, maybe you don't need... It's not no, who you I, need, it's who you want right yeah, now. Yeah, but I think I'm better as a single person. I'm not really relationship type. Mm. I think Digby would say the same thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Poor old Digby. Yeah. Poor old Digby. But it was nice the way he got to go off after you'd broken up with him. In I that, mean, that was awful, wasn't He it? went off, got sort of whisked away in a, in a boat yeah. to take him all the way back to Chelsea, mm. just trying to look cool. Well, I, I mean, stood there yeah. crying. But, yeah. like, how, how... You probably get asked this sort of stuff all the time, but when you're going through something like that, mm. how... D- d- does having cameras make it easier or harder? Because I could almost imagine it makes it easier. Because it, there's adrenaline in a anyway. Way it does. It's less real. Yeah, but also, when you've had conversations with your friends about situations and it's, and you're, and it's being filmed, you then have to... You can't then, like, lie. You have to then cover it by then saying the same thing to the person you're then talking to. So, like, conversations I'd had with Ollie Locke previously to what I then had that conversation with Digby about when I broke because up. Because you know that those conversations have yeah, been Yeah, it happens. So it does sort of make it easier because then it makes you... You're more honest in a bizarre way. No, that, that, kind of, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because that does seem like one of the sort of main prerequisites of being able to survive mm-hmm. on Made in Chelsea is being good at breaking up with people and being good at being broken I mean, up. Constantly not... staying hydrated because of all the tears. <laughs> yeah, know, exactly. very important as well. Con- licking salt blocks yeah, just yeah, to exactly. replenish... The yeah. eyes. Um, I'm going through a breakup at the moment. Are you? True story. Have you got any tips for me? You Are you, you? Did you do the breaking up or were you? It's pretty mutual. Is it? We're still in the same under the same roof. It's very recent. It's very wow. raw. Well, you're uh, still living. You're very together. happy about it. Isn't it? Well, you know, there's ups and downs. Yeah. Um, well, there's going to be less ups and downs now. <laughs> Just downs. <laughs> um, but you know, what would your what would your what would your tips? I mean, mine would be try and yeah. avoid them as much as possible. But mm. yeah. As in, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bring them on a reality show. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sit there every day with them and cry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Fred. Hi. Hi. That was very, that was very Olivia focused. That yeah. Bit. Um, you took a break from Made in Chelsea. I did. I've taken a few breaks. Though. You've taken a few breaks. Yeah. What is it about Made in Chelsea that makes you keep wanting to return? Which we're all delighted that you do. Thanks. Is um, it just pure FOMO? 
No, it's not. I mean, the, the breaks that I have taken, it's always because I've had something that you couldn't do both with. Because it's a totally, I mean, Liv will tell you, it's a totally encompassing thing. Because yeah. they, you know, they get everything about your life. So bef before I was traveling a lot. And then during Croatia, I was recording an album. So I was away a lot as well. So you have to be totally in it. So I just needed a little bit of a break. But I absolutely love filming for Made in Chelsea. And it, it literally becomes like a family because mm. you spend the whole time together. And it's, yeah, it's an amazing thing thing to be a part of so is that kind of the main thing that you miss then the people because do you find that because obviously you're all friends in real life but if you're not part of that world and you the do majorly get FOMO yeah yeah absolutely also things like social media now you're constantly looking and you can see everyone having fun so yeah when they were in Croatia I was speaking to them the whole time wanting to know what was going on mm. and wanting um, to come out and wanting to yeah exactly but uh, so no, you had access to all the spoilers I did. You could have made a fortune. I know, I did. I did. Awesome. But uh, i getting some evil eyes from the people over there, so I didn't <laughs> do that. The, P the PRs. Um, but that, that kind of, uh, that pressure of, of being on the show, but also existing on, on social media. I mean, for you, Olivia, when you got the call up to actually be part of the show yeah. in the first place, was it a, just a straight up, like, 100% definitely yes moment? No. Or were you like, this I... might be a disaster? No, I initially, because I got, I got asked a few times, and then when I was, I was about 19, and my parents were like, absolutely not, you're too young. And there was stuff I still wanted to do, like go travelling and do my gap year and start my photography. And then, and then yeah, after, what, what are you laughing at, Fred? All the important stuff, yeah. Oh, <laughs> You've got to make time for a gap year. I mean, literally. Come on. The rise of passion. Um, <laughs> yeah. Shut up. No, and then, I, and then when I started my photography, I was like, oh, it could be a good thing to like launch it and do all that sort of stuff. So that's initially why I started it. Um, because you're, yeah, there is building work happening behind us. That's where that what song comes is from. We are the build series. You have to. There has to be something being built nearby. Um, yeah, because that obviously that does seem like quite a sensible thing to do if you have other yeah. interests like you and your music. Yeah. And then, oh, like Proudlock's a great example. Jamie's with his with Rosie Fortescue with her jewelry. Yes, exactly. Um, it it can be a really good a, a really good stepping stone. But I suppose when you're actually in the midst of filming a series, that all goes it's out very, of your head. Yeah, it's very hard to plan and uh, yeah yep. what was totally different with me when I started was that because I was one of the first five guys to do it you we were. didn't know what it was going to be like so we had and also reality tv back then wasn't as sort of prevalent as as it is now so we all just had no idea what this was going to look like thanks babes um that's sweet yeah very nice it's a really lovely moment. it's when she picks things out of my hair like, so, <laughs> yeah but, and then eats them that's yeah weird but it's fine <laughs> but um whereas i think now that sort of the people that come onto the show they they've been watching it and they've been following it for a long time and they kind of think that's what i'm going to be a part of whereas mm. i think for for us when we first started like francis spencer and hugo it was totally totally different yeah but i think that that it sounds kind of weird to say but Reality, being a reality star now is, is, seems like kind of a legitimate career path in and of itself. And from friends who work in TV and cast shows and stuff, there are people who work on lots of different yeah. shows and they'll go through to audition for things, but they'll be in game shows, they'll be in, in the background in other you know, reality shows and stuff. Um, what advice would you have for people who are sort of sitting at home thinking, I'm actually going to make that my sole focus, getting on... I don't know why you're what looking do you at think? me, mate. I don't know. I think if you're doing it for the right reasons, I think it's obviously don't do it because you want to be, like, famous or you want to be a reality mm. star. Like, that's not really a career, is it, being like, oh, yeah. You know, if you have another thing to it, like, you do a music. Well, I think you're stuff. saying it is, right? Well, I think it, it, I did, it, kind of, it, kind of, it kind of can be now. And, not, and that's not a bad thing yeah. at all. It's like we live in this yeah. landscape where there's so much media and there's so much stuff happening all the time. It seems like it can be... You know, quite Are you good... asking for yourself? Do you want to be? Can I please? Yes, yeah, come on, made It's always things. where it's heading. I go, exactly. Yeah. What do I have I'm to do? Who do I friend. have to speak to? Those people that you're looking at over there. I'll put in a good word. Don't you worry. We'll talk. We'll talk later. Um, okay, so let's get back onto the all important topic of love lives. Yeah, the big sigh. That's what people want to hear about, right? Love lives and stuff. Yes, yes. Um, we've actually got uh, a question from another Build interviewer um, who. You know, yeah, know, you know who that is, um, because obviously it, it's quite, it can be quite incestuous being all part of the same quite. friendship group. Very. There we go. So <clears throat> a lot of people have kissed the same people, etc. And based on that, we've got a question from someone very special. Question for Olivia Bentley: When is your father Kev going oh, to be a fully question. fledged cast member? Because he's an absolute legend. <laughs> 
Okay, that's not a question about kissing people or being incestuous. That's, that's, that's a question <laughs> about your dad. We'll cover that one first. A bit too incestuous, yeah. I think. Well, yeah. More on the topic of how do you become a cast member. Is your dad going to be involved? I mean, my dad is on it. He, um, Sam loves him for some weird reason. They have this biz- Not weird reason. He's a legend. <laughs> Kevin Bentley is, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a demigod. <laughs> <laughs> what, is it, what is it about him that, that would make he's him such out, a great cast he's member? He's just outrageous, and he says things that just any normal person probably wouldn't say on TV. But he And off TV. He has zero TV, filter. Zero filter. But I think maybe that's why I get my... my uh, yeah, but a toned-down version. You think honest. I'm toned down? Compared to him, Yeah, absolutely. no, he's actually quite shocking. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, he sounds like a good person to get on an interview. Maybe, maybe Sam could interview him. No, no, he'll just say all the wrong things that you just wouldn't want to hear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have another question from Sam. Okay. Back to the flirty stuff. Here we go. Question for Olivia Bentley. Who was a better kisser, Sam Thompson or Alex Messon? Oh, God. So there we go. Um, Sam wants to know how much you enjoyed kissing him. But I we mean, could that switch was that like slightly. Five or six years ago. I think I know the answer. <laughs> Go like on, that. you tell me the answer. <laughs> no, I haven't been... That's a bit of interesting <laughs> yeah. part, isn't it? We've that's got an exclusive, twist. guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, God. Sounds going to murder me. Alex Merton. Knew it. Go on, what, what's, what's the difference in, in techers? I mean... The, oh, wow. This, this, yeah. This, this, Talk to me about but, but, tongue but, movement and everything. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, this is like years ago. I really can't. I mean, I've, you just can't quite remember. No, it, really it was, can't Sam can't just remember. wasn't memorable enough. It's <laughs> okay. You said it. There's nothing wrong <laughs> with that. He was. I don't know. Kissing Sam was like, yeah, more of a friendly thing. It wasn't, you know. Just, just a, yeah, friendly. Just thing. mates. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it's what mates do, apparently. Well, you two are mates, aren't you? Well, we're exes. Yeah, we're more you're, than mates. Full mm. on, yeah, full-on exes. Yeah. I thought I was going to be included in that sort of question. but Well, I could, I could ask it on no, Sam's no. behalf. Who's a better kisser? Yes, girl, Sam or Fred? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> you're you're going to ask that one? <laughs> Freddie Bear. <laughs> Freddie Bear. Lovely. Cringe. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Um, so, the next series is Series 16. Yeah. What is it about Made in Chelsea that makes it so enduring, do you think? What makes it so popular? I mean, I don't know. It's just quite savage, isn't it? I mean, what do you think? I think it's a few things. Um, I think it's like the the people that they bring on are always really, really interesting. Like, there's like a... F- I mean, how they sort of find all these people, I don't really know. There's got to be some sort of magic behind the scenes. But also, we're all, we're all good friends, so there's actually like an organic connection between all of us. It's also, I think, it's so beautiful, and the things that we do are so interesting. But also, I think some of the stuff's quite relatable. Like, I think... Oh, absolutely. Which is what, like, I always get, like, messages from girls and stuff who go through similar situations, which is really nice to, like... Because they ask for advice or, like, and stuff like that. But I think it is... Lots of the ups and downs in friendships and stuff. Mm. People can relate to, yeah. which is why I think people do like watching it. I hope. Yeah, and and there are you, the thing you mentioned about how be- beautiful it is. Mm. That is definitely a standout thing. Like there aren't many other shows, even dramas, that are just yeah. filmed. I have as to say, so when I took my first uh, break from the show, whenever I'd watch it, I just think it would make me miss even being in London. It's yeah. just, it just it looks so wonderful. So I think that's that's that is an, also a factor. And I, I I guess from the point of view of why it's fun to make as well, a lot of the filming that you do in nightclubs and stuff, because you obviously have to control the environment, that will actually take place in the day. Is that right? Or is that not? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It takes place at night time. It does. In the nightclubs. Mm-hmm. Of course it does. But you're getting free drinks. Yeah, it lives all about the free drinks, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> exactly. That's why she came here. This is right. <laughs> this water. Morning, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, free water. Free. You can keep the mug if you want. You can take that home with you. Yeah, it's pretty special. What a treat. Um, so in, you mentioned the, 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 you know, how good they are at finding cast members. Mm. Are we going to see any new faces in, in the next series? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But that we can't say, I'm afraid. That would be the spoiler. <laughs> can feel the burn off the gazes I'm getting. Yeah, they shouldn't be in here, yeah. these guys. Get them out. <laughs> They're blocking all the juicy yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's some, there's some very interesting new cast members this season. Yeah. <laughs> I love these sorts Isn't of interviews. That right? <laughs> where you're just you're not sure what you can and can't say. I know. Um, um, yeah, I'm trying to, who is, yeah. There's some, uh, some old faces come back. Okay, good. Yeah. Can you give us any spoilers on, on returning characters? Um, Emily Blackwell. 
Okay. I'll not say that. Always looking I mean, to the corner. You've just been axed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a breach of contract. <laughs> What about what about a uh, Mark Francis and Victoria? Yeah, there? they're still around. Yeah, I think it's mostly the same from from Croatia. Okay, as well. Try so who's your favourite? Obviously not. You can't because obviously no, no. we're joined you first. Pick now. I, think I think it's you two. Oh, out of you two. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want to go against her. I don't want to lose yeah. that battle. Well, but you're a big cuddly Freddie Bear. <laughs> oh, stop it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How, have you always been Freddie Bear? Uh, no, she actually christened me like that, yeah. She was the one that started that whole thing, and it's just kind of stuck yeah. amongst her and you now. <laughs> and and everyone, maybe you guys. Everyone in the room. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I do. I'm a big fan of Mark Francis because his mother is a real princess, and that... See, no, I don't really know that much about Mark, and then every time I speak to him, or something different comes out. But no, he is very... I like Mark, he's very funny. Yeah, and it's nice, it's good to have the kind of light relief. I mean, it, it, it feels, I think one of the reasons why it's so enduringly popular is because it has all the things that a really great soap opera has mm. in terms of, you know, the love interest, the friendship groups, the genuinely, like, funny moments and all that kind of stuff. But it is, it is real. I mean, do you feel like you are part of a soap opera or do you just feel like you're part, like people are just following your, your genuine lines? I think, yeah, people following on gen genuine lives, I would thought. It's not... It's very, like... It, it, everything that goes on on the show is stuff that actually happens. It's yeah. not like it's made up or, you know, like... No one can fake a breakup kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, we're real. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Mm, <clears throat> yeah, I'd have to agree, agree with what you said. Um, but I think what's, what's interesting about it is that when you're sort of in the mix and when you're sort of like, a part of this group, the things that happen, sometimes you can't even believe. That oh, yeah, you couldn't make up some of the crap. Yeah, and you on, think, yeah. how does this seem to happen? But it just, you know, the, some of the scandals that go on, you think, oh, my goodness, this is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and the other funny thing is, that often, so I, even it was two days ago, I was walking on Oxford Street, and, and I just see this figure in the distance, and it was Mitten. And we bump into each other, and we just have this, like, random, yeah. you know, random chat, and, and everyone walking around thinking, where are the cameras? Is this, like, is this, <laughs> is this part of the scene? <laughs> So, yeah, it's always quite funny when that happens. Um, I've got a question from um, CJ on, on Twitter. Um, people do... It, it always comes back to relationships and dating and stuff. But CJ says, if you could hook up with any... Oh, no, if you could hook up any two cast members who have not already dated... Sophie Herman you... and Fred Ferrier. Is that, is that you doing Fred Ferrier there? Because I think you two be quite good together, but you're a bit funny about it. Really? No, well, we had this... Micro oh, sorry. Yeah, so Sophie and I had this, uh, had this thing before, and I've known Sophie for a long time, and every single time I met her, she was always in a relationship. But then we had something sort of... It, was it two seasons ago or something? It never really worked out. And she's but always, what you know... What happened? Well, Did she was... It? Yeah, but then she had this other boyfriend who, was, who didn't want to do the show, basically. Right. So then she was with him, but I'm not sure if they're... Still together, but then... Does like, she feel like the one that got away? Everybody's got one of them. Yeah. I was yours, right? No, That's... no, I was yours, <laughs> yeah. so I dumped you. Maybe. Yeah. It... We just have this, yeah. This, I, th I think there's some, like, something being reignited here. Ooh, yeah. There's a and temperature just going his some, Yeah, exactly. You're going to have to take that top off. <laughs> exactly. Again? <laughs> he was uh, showing me his abs outside. It's a true story. Um, what about you? Who do you who, so who do you think, uh, then, Fred, if you... Not including yourself. Oh, oh, um, Mark Francis and Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that. Um, hmm. I don't know, actually. You and Harry Barron. That, oh, poor yeah. Harry Barron, if he sees that reaction. No, because I've known Harry for like eight years or something. He's like a friend. Yeah. And I've well, never looked at him like The love of your life. You know life, what they right say, that, that you start time. out as friends and then take it to the next level. Well, that's level. what you and I tried, and that went to shit. Yeah, that did go to shit. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> well, you know what? It seems like you two are still very close, and you're still great friends. Um, yeah. And I think it's great, Fred, that you came back onto the show. Are you going to be back in for the long haul now? Yes. Yeah, I will be. I love it, and I don't. When sort of you get a lot of people that sort of leave and go and do other things, but it's it's such an amazing thing to be a part of. So yeah, I feel very proud of it. Good, good. And Olivia, we're going to be seeing you in the show for a long while to come. Yes. Oh, that's like you know when she's seventy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting rid of her. Yeah.
Uh, eventually, everyone else will leave, and it's just going to be about her. <laughs> My conquests. <laughs> and your conquests. And the ver- she's dated everyone twice at this point. <laughs> so Enough. Can't... <laughs> Cheeky boss. Well, listen, on that bombshell, thank you very much uh, for coming and talking to us. Good luck with the next series, which okay. starts... On Monday, on E4 at 9 p.m. I know you're all going to be watching. I know you're all going to be watching. I'm going to be watching. You're probably definitely going to be watching as well, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. For thank you so much, us, guys. Really enjoyed Make it. some noise for Fred and Olivia. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.